I think life is really hard for someone who is a coloured person, who is a Muslim in a society like this, because you have these whole stereotypes. Every day in your life, like living in a Western society, you will be stereotyped of something that happened in another place, in another country, something that you don't even know. My name is Ifra Wassam. I'm 21 years old. I was born between two countries, really, a borderline of Somalia and Kenya, but I'm Somalian. I came to Australia with my family in mid-2007 from Kenya. That's where I've lived for the past 15 years of my life. My mom always believed her daughters deserved a university education. They deserve to follow their dreams no matter what. We moved around a lot, really, as a kid. So I remember living in a big Kenya city and I remember living in a small city. Because one minute my parents had all this big business and everything, and all of, a, all of a sudden everything was just like disappeared. We had to start life from scratch. So when we got the chance to come to Australia, we were all excited really. It was full of opportunities. Things that I wouldn't have dreamt of became possible. When I arrived here, I felt like I was sandwiched between two cultures. Here it is, there is a social expectation that I needed to fit in, blend into my new society. And then I had to maintain my cultures, both Somalian and Kenya. It was a really confusing moment, really. I was like, not miserable, but I was like lost. I spent all, 50, being 15 years old, really confused. And then when I reached 16, I made a decision that I would embrace my identity. And I will take the positive side of every culture that I've actually experienced throughout my life. And so I went to Finden High School, a school located in the western region of Adelaide. And it was that school that I've done my senior high school, year 10, 11 and year 12. I remember my first day of school and I had people staring at me as if I didn't speak English. At that stage I felt like I had to explain myself and it was really irritating really. Explaining who I am, why I was the way I was, why I was different than other kids. How could I not be different when I'm actually different, you know what I mean? I remember being told I couldn't do certain subjects at school because I wasn't fluent in English. It was really disappointing that I've always loved sciences, I've always been good at biology and chemistry, and all of a sudden I've been told not to do it because I wasn't good enough. But then when I reached in year 12, things turned around really, because my sister, she's done it the year before me and she's actually done tremendously well. And I had my career counsel, like the five that I was getting my teacher was, you can do anything, Ifra. You know, what subject would you like to choose? I want to do biology and chemistry. And this time there was no resistance to it. It was like, go ahead for it. I'm currently studying health sciences at Adelaide Uni. This is my final year and my majors are pathology and international public health. Apart from uni, I'm involved with World Vision, Fair Trade, a bit of an Octree Foundation. In the future, I like to empower young African girls from the same walk of life to actually impress their identity. Instead of always trying to fit in, because I know that doesn't really work out, I'm trying to help them find a way that they could be themselves and happily live in Australia.